Ryan Steinker with Cooper Cornea, Athletic Director at Rich High School. Cooper, thanks for your time. You bet. It's good to be with you this morning, Ryan. Let's uh, not pull in any punches. A rough start to the football season last Friday with Canav in town. Yeah, things. Uh, I, I don't think the kids would tell you they're happy with the way they played, and and as coaches, we're definitely not happy with the way with the way things turned out, the way we played. I think there was probably some some things we could have done better to to make sure the kids were ready and and. Uh, we're going to take care of those things. You know, they're kind of running a new offense, so we expected some mistakes, but we've got to clean a lot of those up so that we can move the ball and, and score some points. Our tendency, I think, as fans or media members, is we want to find, you know, that one thing or two things that made the difference. But the reality, I think, Friday was there was a lot of things, a miss, a blocking assignment here, that face mask penalty, uh, timing issues, a lot of different things combined to contribute to that loss. Yeah, you know, it's a different speed. Uh, you mentioned timing issues. It's definitely a different speed playing in that in a varsity game compared to, to practice. And if you've got really good numbers, you got a ton of kids out, you can make things a little more game-like in practice. You know, and we do the best we can, and our freshmen, bless their hearts, they, they play as hard as they can, but there's just there's a big difference between lining up against a freshman and lining up against – of our city opponent. So we knew there was going to be a little bit of timing difference, and hopefully we're kind of past that learning curve and, and we can move in the right direction this week. Staying with football, you've got uh, a game, the, the Bear Lake rivalry up at Bear Lake. Do you know anything about the Bears and what kind of a game you'll have Friday? Yeah, you know, it doesn't get any easier for us. Bear Lake's got some great athletes, and you mentioned the rivalry. I mean, we never want to lose to them, and they, and they dang sure don't want to lose to us. So uh, it's going to be a, a good hard-fought battle, and we're looking forward to it. This week, the volleyball team gets started Thursday night at 4A Ridgeline, then Friday morning at Cokeville against 4A Evanston, then they've got 3A Mountain View and 4A Preston. Things don't start easy for the volleyball team. No, definitely not. They they just jump right into it. You know, and that's that's how that's how our volleyball program is. They've always scheduled tough opponents. They usually do very well against them. And and I think it definitely helps them out when they get into region play. They're not going to play anybody tougher in region play than they do this first weekend. So uh, I know they're looking forward to the challenge. I was talking with Coach uh, Wendy Lamborn last week. She has a lot of excitement for this season and the, the athletes that she's got, the effort that they're putting into practice, and just what she believes they can accomplish this year. Yeah, they seem to be really getting after it. I've just walked into practice a few times, and, and the girls seem to be uh, – really buying into Coach uh, Lamborn's system and, and working hard. So looking forward to what this season brings as well. Volleyball will continue Saturday and bracket play at that Cokeville tournament. Always a good way to start the season in Cokeville. Oh, yeah, it's a great tournament, and uh, I know the girls look forward to going to it each year. Coach, uh, anything else you want to touch on? I think that, that covers it. Best of luck to the Rebel football and Rebel volleyball teams this week. Cooper Cornea, Athletic Director at Rich High School, thanks so much for your time, and uh, good luck this week to the Rebels. Thanks, Ryan.